Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is my first travel vlog. I hope you will enjoy this. I visited to Kanyakumari to attend my cousin's wedding. This is my native place. So I thought I will show you few underrated places of Kanyakumari. This vlog is about Tirparipu waterfalls, a budget friendly place which should be in your bucket list when you visit Kanyakumari. This waterfall is located 42 km away from Nagar Kovil and 55 km away from Trivandrum. This waterfall is located on Kodayara River and Pechipare Dam. This waterfall is 300 feet long and 50 feet high. It is mainly constructed to supply water to the paddy fields nearby. You can reach this place by air, by train and also by road. The nearest airport is Trivandrum and the nearest railway station is Kuritare which is 70 km away from this waterfall and by road it is 45 km away from Trivandrum and 52 km away from Kanyakumari. The entry fee for the falls is 10 rupee and for boating it's 50 and for the swimming pool it's just 5 rupee. If you like our effort, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Lights Camera Cooking. This is the way to the waterfalls. There are many beautiful topiaries on the sides of the footpath. The one which you are seeing is the heart shaped topiary. The bushes are neatly trimmed and maintained. It was really a delight to watch. This one is the restroom and change area for women and also there is separate locker rooms. They charge a minimum fee for it. It is not very clean and maintained but still it serves the purpose. There is a separate bath area for both men and women. The one which you are seeing now is for women and that side is for men. They have given railing so that it's very safe. The water falls in a great pressure so that it's very relaxing to bath in the year. There is no doubt that this place is a paradise for both photographers and videographers. charge 20 rupees to carry the still camera and 150 rupees to carry the video camera. had a wonderful time and also he made a friend over there. <laughs> this river flows through dense forests. It is believed that this water has high medicinal properties. time to visit this place is the starting of summer, I mean in the time of January, February, March and also in winter season. In rainy season.
reason the water flow is too high so they restrict the entry to the falls they don't allow us to bath in it the timing is from morning 7 o'clock till evening 6 o'clock There is also a swimming pool in this place where you can allow the kids to play. They only charge rupees five for one person. Near the falls is a famous Shiva temple, which is called as Mahadeva Temple. In this temple, Lord Shiva is in the form of Virabhadra. This temple is built around ninth century AD. It also has children's park which have equipments like swings slides and lot more and sure the kids will enjoy and also there are seating arrangements so the elder people can rest and have a peaceful time over here It was very calm, cool, and relaxing. There are many shops at the entrance of the waterfalls. It sells snacks and drinks. We had chips and also hot and crispy bhajis from there. They also sell tea and coffee. There is nothing to worry, even if you don't bring. Clothes to change. There are shops that sell shorts, towel, and many other things. Who 
reaching the boat club don't forget to grab the pickled gooseberries pineapple cucumber and raw mango for just 10 to 20 rupees you have to walk around 5 to 10 minutes over this bridge to reach the boat house and i'm very sure you'll enjoy this walk See the scenic beauty of this place. Finally, we have reached the boat club. Here they charge 50 per person. There are two kinds of boat. One is a paddling boat and other one is a rowing boat. Here they assist us with the driver for rowing boat. They allow 30 minutes for paddling boat and one round for the rowing boat. This boat ride along with the scene beauty is a must ride. If you want to experience a calm and relaxing time with your family, don't forget to include this place in your bucket list when you visit Kanyakumari next time. It is very very budget friendly and also I am very sure that you will have a great time with your family.
Even though Kanyakumari is very famous for its temple, beach and sunset, I don't know why this place is very much underrated. Please do come and visit this place and have a memorable experience of your lifetime. On the way back home, I saw this beautiful paddy field, so that I thought I'd share this with you. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and give your valuable suggestions. Thank you. Bye.